Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, as promised, I am going to do a comparison video of all of my Chanel Classic Flap bags. And so the bags I'm gonna be showing you are my Chanel Vintage Classic Flap in the size jumbo with the black uh, lambskin leather and the silver hardware. And next, I will show you what can fit inside my Chanel Medium Classic Flap, also in black lambskin with silver hardware. And finally, I will show you what I can fit into my Chanel mini flap in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. And I also took in my wok, which um, is also black lambskin, silver hardware, and I'll kind of show you what I can fit in this as well. Even though it's not a flap, it's still a smaller bag and I carry some of the same items when I use this. So I'm going to change the camera angle so I can give you a little better view of each of these bags and um, of all of the things that I put in them. And uh, so hold on just one second. A quick overview, these are the items that I would typically carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis. I wouldn't carry all of these probably at once, but I just wanted to show you when I uh, show you how I use my jumbo flap, what will fit inside. So I have my Louis Vuitton um, cosmetic case in the PM size. I also have the um, mini pochette. I have my Chanel eyeglasses. I have my Chanel card case, and this is full with um, credit cards, my license, some cash. Um, pretty stuffed at the moment, in fact. I have my round coin purse, which I'm finally using for coins, I'm excited to say, so got that. I have my keys, and I'm currently just carrying them inside the key holder or a clay from Louis Vuitton. I have my agenda in the PM size. I also have a card holder from Chanel and some sunglasses. These are just some aviators from Ray-Ban. And I'm going to just adjust the camera a bit so you can see the bag. And I'm gonna start with my Chanel. Um, this is the vintage jumbo flap in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. And this bag comes with a nice, uh, nicely sized pocket on the back, which is typically where I would keep my cell phone, which I am recording on now, so I won't be able to show you that, but that is where I put my cell phone. Um, it's got the double handles, which you can also pull um, to make it a long crossbody, but I really never do that. I typically will carry this bag when I'm going to work or um, even just for shopping, running errands, anything really. Um, love, love, love this bag and it holds so much. I can pretty much fit everything I would normally carry inside of a Speedy 30 inside this bag. So inside the bag, as you can see, it's got the burgundy interior. There is a flap pocket in the back as well as a large zipper compartment in the back behind that or on top of that and um, that is it for pockets inside the bag. So I'm gonna show you how all of this stuff fits even though I wouldn't carry all of this at once. So I'm gonna start with the largest item which is um, my full PM cosmetic case and that slides in no problem. I'm then gonna take my pochette or mini pochette, put it in there kind of sideways and I'm going to take my agenda in the PM size and put that right in front of the mini pochette over on the side. Then I might have my eyeglasses with me. So I'm gonna stick those right over um, in front of the cosmetic case. Then I would probably have my card holder with all of my cards. And then I probably wouldn't need the card case if I'm taking the card holder, but I've got my um, my little, sorry, round coin purse. So I'm just gonna stick that in there. And then my keys. And then last but not least, my sunglasses, which I reach for quite frequently, so I'm gonna stick those right on top. And all of that, as you can see, fits into the bag, you know. For some reason, something seems to be preventing me from closing it as I'm showing you this. I promise you it fits. <laughs> Here we go. Um, fits into the bag, no problem. And it is very heavy with all of this stuff inside. And like I said, I normally wouldn't carry it this packed. So I'll show you, take a few things out and just show you what I would normally 
carry with me. I have just a few cosmetic items right now inside of my um, mini pochette, so I probably would not carry the full size cosmetic case. I don't really take this with me day to day anymore. I kind of just throw a few necessities um, and my makeup into my mini pochette. So I'm going to keep those on the side and you can see my glasses down there on the bottom. And that leaves me plenty of room for everything else to just stack on top. And now there is plenty of room in the bag. And it is a lot lighter because this is actually quite heavy right now. It's stuffed with all of my junk drawer items as well as some cosmetics. So um, really don't carry this with me anymore day to day. Sometimes I might take a hand cream or something out of here, but I do keep this stuffed um, for when I do want to carry it. If I'm using a tote bag or something really large, I will take this with me. Or if I'm going out in the evenings and I want to have um, everything I need to kind of touch up my makeup and stuff, then I will take that with me. So that is my jumbo flap and what fits inside of it. And now I'm just going to quickly um, take out the items and show you what I would carry when I am using my medium large flap. And changing bags. This is my medium large classic flap, also in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. This is absolutely stunning bag. I love this bag for going out in the evenings, especially when I'm dressed up. It has the pocket in the back that I don't really ever use unless maybe I am parking my car and I need to keep the parking ticket or something um, inside of there. It is the double flap as you can see. So inside you have this front compartment here which is where I would put my cell phone and then in the main compartment of the bag you have two kind of slip pockets in the back and a little makeup or lipstick holder I should say in the middle where I never put a lipstick <laughs> but um, I really don't use those pockets at all to be perfectly honest so what I would normally carry with me inside this bag is um, a mini pochette again with just a compact um, mirror and a lipstick or a powder and a lipstick, anything like that. My um, card case or card holder from Chanel, which I'm just going to stick on the side like so. And my keys. And that is really all I take with me when I go out at night. I've got my cash, I've got my credit cards, my license, my keys, um, my makeup, everything that I need for a night out. And it fits absolutely no problem. And I most often carry this as a long shoulder bag. Um, so pull the strap through like so. But sometimes I will carry it with both of the straps as a short shoulder bag or um, on the crook of my arm. And this bag is absolutely stunning. It is my favorite of all of my Chanel bags and um, really, really happy to have it in my life. And if I were going out, um, I'll just be honest, during the day, I may take a pair of sunglasses and put them in a soft case and just lay them right on top. I, I'm not really too fussy about my sunglasses, um, when, especially when I'm using my Ray-Bans since they're very lightweight and um, nothing ever seems to happen to them. So <laughs> knock on wood. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is my medium large double flap in the black lambskin leather with the silver hardware. Now the next bag I'm gonna talk about is my mini flap, and this has quickly become kind of my second favorite. Um, well, I would say it's tied with my walk, but I use this bag a lot when I'm going out in the evenings and I'm going somewhere that's not very dressy or fancy, um, and I just want um, almost like a beater bag, really, because it is uh, a vintage bag that I don't have to worry about at all, and I can just throw it on my shoulder. Um, I can use it either as a long shoulder bag or crossbody bag, and I absolutely love this bag. So um, as you can see, it has a pocket on the back that I don't really use for anything. And then inside it has um, a zip compartment as well as a flap compartment in the back. And that is most often where I'll put um, keys, I'm keys, what am I saying, where I'll put cash 
And so if I were to take this, um, it takes up a lot of room inside the bag, so I don't want to always take a full-size card holder. So I will take the smaller card case, just put my cards and license that I need for the night inside, and then I've got plenty of room in the bag, you can't even see it in there, and I'll stick my cash inside one of those other compartments. Then I would take my keys. That fits in there, no problem. And then, of course, I need some type of makeup to have with me for the evening. So I'm going to take a powder compact and a lipstick. Let's say this is the lipstick I was using for that evening or that day. I've actually carried this quite a bit during the day if I'm just running errands or going out um, somewhere. Yeah. And just to show you what I do with my sunglasses, I don't even have a soft case on me to show you this, but... Um, I'll just do it without. Sometimes I am guilty of being out and I don't even bring a soft case and I just kind of lay them on the top there and they fit no problem. Which is one thing about this bag that gives it a little advantage over the walk is that you can fit just a bit more in here um, and still be able to get your sunglasses to lie on top and not have to worry about crushing them and um, especially if you're using a nice lightweight small pair of aviators or something like that so that is uh, my mini flap and now I'm going to take everything out of there and I did bring my wok just to quickly show you what I take in my wok which is not really a whole lot of anything but I wanted to include it so it wouldn't be left out because I still do love my wok um, the wok is actually a really great bag for travel and the reason I say that is because number one I love this bag as a crossbody I don't even feel it when I'm wearing it and it sits really really low um, it's great to throw on under a jacket and it doesn't take up any kind of room under your jacket if you are traveling and don't want anyone snatching your stuff um, I'd say it's a very secure bag in that regard and then it also is a really perfect size for holding I didn't bring my passport but if you have a passport, especially if you have a passport holder um, and you just want to take some credit cards in your bag, your passport and some cash and maybe a pair of sunglasses, your keys, that's really all you would need um, in this bag. So again, this bag also has the uh, pocket in the back that I don't really use for anything. And inside you have quite a few compartments. There is a zipper compartment on the top here that goes all the way down the bottom of the bag. You have um, in the back of the bag, there is a, I can't even pull that right now. There are the six card slots. And then in the front of the bag, you've got this, um, sorry, this slip compartment right in the front, which is where I put my phone. You've got a zip compartment across here, which is often where I will put cash. Um, and then you've also got a, another slip compartment that is kind of right behind that zipper. So really great because this is this does serve as a wallet. You can put all of the cards that you need in the card holders. And then all I would need are my keys, my phone, which again, I would slip right in here. Maybe a card case if I needed some extra cards. So I'm just gonna throw that in for the sake of showing you and um, a lipstick. And if you wanted to put some sunglasses, I would kind of try to rest those kind of on top there. Not ideal, but um, they definitely fit. And one of the downsides of this bag is that you do have to look to snap it. Um, it's not easy to find the snap closure on this. And I've heard a lot of other YouTubers complaining about the same thing. But this is a really great bag just because it is so compact, it is so light, and when you just need your essentials, especially if you're traveling and you don't want to be bogged down with a heavy handbag, this will never bother you and it is just... Um, the perfect little travel companion. So this is becoming my bag of choice for travel, as well as a great evening bag, as well as a great um, going out running errands bag. Um, pretty much, it, it's very multifunctional, I should say. So very versatile. Um, yeah, so that is it for my uh, Chanel bag 
comparison. I hope this was helpful to anyone considering any of these bags. I love every single one of them and I'm so happy and fortunate to have all of these bags in my life and as part of my collection. And uh, if you have any further questions, please leave it in the comments below. And otherwise, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all soon in my next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.